Bubbleology. Hi, I'm Stephanie Yu. This is my face. This is a soap film. This is my face behind a soap film. This is a soap film going poof. Look at this stuff. It's wet, but it stretches. Unusual. It's thin, and it's clean. It's clinging to the bars, it's clinging to the strings, it's clinging to itself. What makes it do that? Surface tension. Surface tension is a force. Forces make things do things. Surface tension makes the stuff stick to itself and pull itself together, like this. It pulls into a smooth sheet, and like this, it stretches and holds itself together. And, like this. It makes bubbles. Where can you find out more about bubbles? A bubble festival. Hopi and Todd found one. It was in Philadelphia at the Franklin Institute. What's going on? It's a bubble festival. I trapped the bubble. Everyone was playing with bubbles. Can you hear it? We should probably get inside and see the bubbleologist. Hello, I'm Richard Faberty. I'm your bubbleologist today. You know, bubbles are really beautiful. They're very gentle. Look, you can reach right inside of a bubble. It won't bite you. Look at that. All right, here we have your typical soap bubble. Watch this. All right, through the hoop, through the hoop. That's not bad for a train bubble, huh? This is what I call the cable car bubble. All right, here we have the cable car. Let's see if we can get a passenger in there. There he goes. And there goes the cable car. Whee! Back down the other way. Whee! Oh! Of course, there's no wind here, so the bubbles fall very quickly. But you'll find outside, with just a slight breeze, these will go way up into the sky. Here we go. You can do, do all kinds of things playing around with these bubbles. For his last trick, Richard did something we'd never seen before. He put two kids inside bubbles. I can't be sure. <laughs> Yeah, adults can be in a bubble too, and this is what we call a double bubble. On that note, I'm, I'm going to stop. After the show, we just had to get our hands on some soap bubbles. Hi. 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 Fantastic show. Well, thank you very much. What are your names? I'm Todd. And Todd? I'm Hopi. Hi, I'm Richard. Now that, your, now that your hands are wet, put them in the bubble solution. Why don't you try it yourself? Okay. Whoa, that's really gooey. See? Could we make this ourselves? Absolutely. For example, I'll take a quart of the dishwashing liquid, which we get at the supermarket, and I'll mix that with two and a half gallons of tap water, although I must say the distilled water works even better. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we take a cup of glycerin and mix that in with the two and a half gallons of water. The glycerin you can get at any drugstore. If we all take mm -hmm. one part of the string, we get okay. it wet and we lift it gently oh, look at out that. of here. Now watch this. Okay, but this, I love, look at that. You can make some gigantic, gigantic soap films. Can we try some of the other big bubble tricks? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Yeah. All right, there's plenty of air inside the bubble. Don't worry about Why? breathing. But see, look at this. <laughs> Want me to try that again? Yeah. All right. Mm. Sorry. Yeah. Try one more. <laughs> Hello in there. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, that's really neat. Can Todd get inside with me, of too? Of course, of course. Man, I'd love to. You want to be in a, a, in a double bubble or both in the same bubble? Let's get in the same bubble. No, let's get in a double bubble. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> Hold my arm. It's slippery. 
you do this at home, be very careful. Okay. Yeah, I have to do the soap. All soap. right, let's see. You got to keep your hands at your side here for this one. work with this, the more I find out what it can do. Take a look at this. I've been working on it hard. Really? Okay. Surface tension at work. Okay. Surface tension at play. One more time. Success! The surface tension makes the soap film stick to itself and to the frame and to the string. And surface tension makes the soap film pull the string into a circle. It did take me a while to get this to work. First, my string was too thick. And then, my frame was too big. I had to try a couple of different ways. But that's science. I'm beginning to notice something. The soap film pulled the string into a circle. A circle is round. Bubbles are round. Hmm. We wanted to know more about how bubbles work, so we went to see David Katz. He's a chemist who's done some bubble investigations. David, what recipe do you use? Well, as a chemist, I've played around with lots of different recipes in the laboratory. The recipe I'm using today uses dishwashing detergent, mm -hmm. glycerin, and water. And what I've done is I've measured out nine scoops of water. And if you'd like to measure out a scoop of dishwashing detergent. Okay. And half a scoop of glycerin. Although we can vary the amount of water and use up to twice as much water as I have here right now. Stir that. Don't shake, otherwise you have too many suds and it'll take too long for the solution to settle down. David, you can make a bubble formula out of just soap and water. Why do you need to add other ingredients? Let's take a look at a soap bubble. We have three layers. Two layers of soap and in the middle is the water. Soap molecules water molecules in the middle, and they all cling together. The water drains out from the soap because it's a lot thinner. The bubble gets too thin up top. It can't support the weight of the rest of the bubble. So the bubble breaks. So what we do is we add glycerin, or we add corn syrup, or we can add just the sugar and water solution, and that makes the inner layer thicker so it flows out much more slowly and the bubble lasts longer. Is this a homemade loop? Yes it is. You can make a ring at home just out of a coat hanger. Just like this. Using the coat hanger this? itself. Okay. Or you can stretch it out into another shape. But if you want it to hold more solution, what you can do is wrap some string around it. That will help it make even bigger bubbles. Try it in the yeah. Why is it that no matter what shape you use to blow a bubble, the bubble always comes out round? Well, the reason for that is the surface tension of the liquid. There's a skin that's formed by the soap molecules on the outside of the bubble. They are attracted to each other, and it tries to pull itself together to form the smallest possible area. And a sphere is the smallest area that could be formed. I still don't understand what you mean by surface tension. Now, maybe I can show you using some of my wire frames over here. If you'll move that bucket down over here and pick up that prism-shaped frame, dip it in the solution. Now, what happens is the soap tries to coat the outside of the frame, but the molecules are attracted, so it collapses towards the center. Look closely. The soap film has moved inside the frame. 
That's because of surface tension. The soap film tries to make the smallest possible surface. This is surface tension too. Great. Take your hand off the bottom mm -hmm. and watch the string curve towards the center as that film tries to pull itself together. It's pulling together here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In this case, we have four different soap films coming together. On this frame too, soap that starts out on the outside of the frame comes together in the middle. If you dip that part way into the solution and take it out, the bubble in the middle wants to be round, but those films on the outside are pushing it out of shape. So it takes the same shape as the frame that it's in. Does it want to be round because there's air inside? No, it wants to be round because it's trying to contract to the smallest area. And make the least amount of surface space. That's correct. Can we look at this one too? Sure, the cube will do the same thing. All the films on the square try to reach the center, and they actually make a little square section in the middle because it's there are too many films coming together for it to meet evenly. It'll still blow around bubble, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the free-floating bubble will always try to be round. I know bubbles are always supposed to be round, but I'm not convinced, so I'm going to do my own experiment. Sometimes you just have to try things out for yourself. Look, none, repeat, none of these frames are round. Using them, I'll attempt to become the first person in history to blow a bubble that's not round. And by that, I don't mean a big, fat, wobbly bubble that wants to be round, but just can't get it together. No, I mean a bubble that's... that's square, or triangular, or a rhomboid. working. My experiment is proving to me that the shape of the frame doesn't matter. Maybe I need a square mouth. No, as soon as the film leaves the frame, it gets round. Surface tension makes the bubble pull itself together. Surface tension makes bubbles round. But you don't have to take my word for it. Try it yourself. Soap films have surface tension. Surface tension is the force that makes a soap film want to pull itself together into the shape with the smallest possible surface area. Surface tension makes bubbles round. No matter what the shape of your frame or the shape of your mouth, no matter how hard you try, when you blow a bubble, it always comes out round. But don't take my word for it. Try it yourself. 3 to 1 Classroom Contact is a production of the Children's Television Workshop.